Uh, this is a, a schematic of the steam system in Manhattan. East River South Steam Station is currently where we're at right now. Steam and water don't mix. And what happens is that the cold rainwater will, or, or the flooded water will, will, will actually flood over and submerge the piping. And what would happen is it cool down steam in the piping and cause water hammers. So we don't want that to happen. Depending on how bad it is, it could potentially go up to Avenue D and 14th Street, or maybe potentially halfway up between Avenue D and Avenue C. It's going to be probably one of the highest surges in the history of the New York area. Joe, Joe knows all about flooding, so if you want to. If you want to get a, a flooding expert, Joe's, Joe Lopez, the one that came he's the flooding expert. Mm -hmm. Time to go to work. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're strictly operating by our, our set procedures right now. We've, uh, over the past few years, we've developed extensive procedures on, on how to deal with this and how to secure the plant, evacuate the plant, and recover the plant. So right now, we're, we're sick, simply following a set script, and uh, we're in the middle of it. Yeah, this is the tunnel that goes across to our, to our uh, dock uh, at the uh, riverside. And uh, the hydrostatic pressure of, of the water and the tides actually come right through the concrete. As you see, this was not here 45 minutes ago. Since we've been inside, when we walked out about 45 minutes ago, it wasn't even towards the uh, pole right there. Now it's going all the way out. So in about 45 minutes, that tide came in and went all the way down the street. That's our East Loop River level right now, and uh, it's equal to the sidewalk on 14th Street on the south side. We're all responsible. We all are concerned. We want to make sure that everything is taken care of and that um, the safety of our personnel and of our customers out in the streets that we supply steam to. We want to make sure that we mitigate any damage as best as we can with the flooding so that once this storm is over, we can get this unit back as soon as possible. Right now, we got about 20 knot gusts. Tonight, we're expecting probably 70 to 80 knot gusts and much higher uh, storm surge. 